Hey everyone, so I get a lot of requests for a video about how to clean a dirty camera mirror. Let's take a look at the mirror on this camera. Given the rest of this camera's cosmetic condition, that shouldn't shock you. We're going to clean the mirror in a very similar way that we would to cleaning a lens. First thing is we're going to grab a rocket blaster or a bulb blower. We're going to see if that helps. It does not. The next thing we're going to do is grab a brush, and we're going to give the brush a try. Well, that helps a little bit. This camera looks like it was sitting next to a grease fire. And as you might have guessed, because I already got out the lens tissue, I had a pretty good suspicion that that was not going to do the trick. Mirrors are a little bit more delicate than lenses. So I'm going to use here a Carl Zeiss lens cleaning uh, fluid. This is what they make for their uh, camera lenses. I think the packaging now is a little bit different. Yes, packaging now looks like this. It's for camera lenses. It's exceedingly good stuff. Also for your eyeglasses. We're going to need two pieces of lens tissue for this process. Literally just going to set it there because the tissue is going to absorb all of the, the fluid, and I, I have a limited amount of space in this camera setup. So let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. I've got the wetted tissue. I'm very gently going to touch the mirror, which I always say in my videos you should never do. This is the exception to that. You shouldn't ever, by the way, touch the mirror. Now, any 35 millimeter or other SLR from the 60s and newer. This is going to be just fine. I did try this once on a 1930s SLR and it took the silver right off of the mirror. So if you have an SLR that you need to clean the mirror on that is older than this camera, let's say, which is an early 60s SLR, some caution is advised when touching the mirror with any kind of chemical. Uh, if you have a very old camera like that, you want to just wet a little bit of the tissue and then just touch a little corner of the mirror and, and clean that and just make sure it doesn't take the silver off. All right. Now, as you might be able to see, that mirror is already significantly cleaner. And guess what? We aren't going to need that second tissue, right? Ooh, well, no, not really, because almost always, let's get a better view on that. There you go. When you have a dirty mirror, you've got a dirty viewfinder. Now, let's say, before we get onto that, if your mirror had a little bit more dirt on it, you could very gently dab that dirt away. You don't want to put a dry tissue on your mirror and wipe, as that will almost certainly scratch your mirror. But if you have a little piece of, let's say, dirt that is being persnickety, you could tap at it with your lens tissue. You could also get a cotton swab and tap at it. I don't necessarily recommend that because cotton swabs are pretty darn coarse and can run the table with your mirror's coating. The mirrors on these are surface coated silver, so when you touch the mirror, you are actually touching the silver coating directly. There's no glass protecting your mirror, uh, mirror silver from your fingers. Cleaning the viewfinder is going to follow a very similar process. Because viewfinders are often recessed, I find it helps to wad up your tissue and just kind of reach into it. Now I'm glad I saved this second tissue, or the first one that we used rather, because there was just a little bit of excess liquid in that, those recesses and this is going to let me get it out. Now, this camera has a substantially cleaner let me see if I can show that a little bit better. Substantially cleaner viewfinder and mirror, and it's ready to go out and be used and give you the sharpest image you can get from it while you're taking photos. Have a good day, everybody, and enjoy cleaning your lenses, mirrors, and getting the most out of your camera's viewfinders. Thank you for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that I'm on the right track producing content which is useful and helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments section below. I'm pretty good about checking these every couple of days and answering questions. If you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos, and if I have the technical know-how and equipment, I'm more than happy to make those. One last thing, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
I gotta get up, Steinbeck. I have to turn off the camera. <laughs>